extra power onto the rail, Gresley wanted eight wheels instead of six. But because of the constraints, they're, they're smaller than tornadoes. So these are six foot two. Tornadoes. Our ambition is to become a three engine operation. And the, the challenge with the works was that it, it was isolated from the mainline network. Everything has to go in and out uh, on the back of a lorry. There's a bridge going in which will connect from here straight across uh, and the foundations for the, the bridge are already in so they're just waiting for possession now to then drop it in. But that will provide connectivity with the uh, museum. This is not just about us. As we speak, quite the most ambitious overhaul and redevelopment of what is now called the Darlington Rail Heritage Quarter is ongoing and we are one part of that, we're a very significant part of it, but we are one part of it. This is effectively the council space because it's viewed as being an extension of the, uh, of the Rowing Museum visit experience. So there will be interpretation uh, around here. This building was constructed brand new as part of that overall concept. In that direction is the 1861 engine shed. And from here, we will be able to go by rail all the way to that and beyond and to a mainline connection. And that is critical. And the final piece in the infrastructure jigsaw is just over there. I'm going to be building a turntable. Now, all of a sudden, we go from being a builder of locomotives to an operational base for locomotives. Everyone's got this major part to play in celebrating that 30-mile ribbon that changed the world.